delving deep into the impact that unresolved trauma has on our marriages is imperative because it will help to clear those murky, muddy waters and help you to create and maintain the sacred waters that your marriage deserves. See, within the first nine years of our marriage, unresolved trauma was made up about 50% of our problems. And I can say that that was an even 50 split between William and me. Like 25% of his issues and 25% of my issues showed up and showed out. Now for me, my unresolved trauma impacted three main areas of our marriage. One in the business area. Whenever anyone operated out of integrity or didn't honor their contract, I assumed that it was because they saw some type of weakness in me, they were doing something to me personally, and that they were trying to get over. Third, I did not have any type of rational communication. Everything triggered me. And William told me that living with me, at least for the first five years of marriage, was like living on a landmine. He never knew when he was going to step on a bomb and say the wrong thing. And then thirdly, the unresolved trauma in my life created like this leaky bucket syndrome. Because of my brokenness, William spent so much time trying to patch up what he said, what somebody else said, what happened, what this, what that. And I remember him saying to me, especially at night, and I'm going over my mind, what happened during throughout the day and what people said and what people did. And he was just like, I don't want people in my bedroom. Can we please go to bed and spend time with ourselves? I don't want to keep talking about these people. And so I just really want us to get to the point where we look at ourselves, that there is radical acceptance so we can see what's going on in our lives. And if we have unresolved trauma, just know that that is going to muddy the waters of your relationship. And when you get help, healing, and deliverance from your unresolved trauma, you'll be able to create and maintain those secret waters that your marriage deserves. And remember, you want to work on dissolving your problems and not your marriage. God bless you.